Hello everyone and welcome back to another video brought to you by SeniorCatWellness.com. If you enjoyed today's presentation and find it informative, please feel free to subscribe to this channel, like the video, and share the content. Today's video subject is pork good for cats. Before we begin, let's first take a look at today's topic overview. Pork can be fed to a cat once thoroughly cooked and all of the bones have been removed. Pork is a rich source of protein, iron, zinc, niacin, and vitamins B6 and B12. Unfortunately, pork is high in saturated fat and salt, leading to weight gain and high blood pressure. Cats require protein in their diets in order to remain healthy. Meat is the foundation, and while pork is typically not a staple meat within a feline's diet compared to that of beef, chicken, or turkey, pork can be served, but only in strict moderation. Pork is very high in saturated fat and sodium. This is why we recommend that pork, although a good source of protein, only be served as a rare treat rather than a full meal. While moderation is indeed critical, most cats will not have an issue with just a few pieces of pork every now and then. Having said that, too much consumption can usher in a few health problems. First is hypertension. Pork, as we know, contains a large amount of salt. This can lead to hypertension, which can also promote kidney disease. It is estimated that up to 60% of felines with hypertension have chronic kidney disease. Additionally, roughly 10 to 20% of cats with hypertension are at risk of hyperthyroidism. As you can see, we're dealing with a snowball effect. This, once again, is why pork should be treated as a snack and never a meal. Not only can cats eat pork that has been cooked, they should never consume it raw. With that said, cats should only eat pork that has been thoroughly cooked with no additives or preservatives. Never cook and prepare pork in the same fashion that you would prepare it for your family. Bland is the objective here. No additional salt and no seasonings, no garlic, no onion powder. Cook with water rather than oil. In respect to serving size, cut the meat into small bite-sized portions or mince it and prepare it with existing traditional wet cat food. Because pork is high in fat, serving straight pork fat to your cat is inadvisable. In addition to cooked fat, any fried pork or fatty pork products should also be avoided. This includes fried pork chops, pork rinds, and barbecue pork. Even if pork is of the highest quality, cooked properly, and served without any seasonings, your cat can potentially fall ill. Some felines are allergic to pork. This is yet another reason why routine vet visits are so critical. An allergy test can reveal the do's and don'ts as they specifically relate to your feline. And while some cats are allergic to pork and exhibit no obvious symptoms at all, some cats can have a severe reaction. Symptoms of a reaction can include, but are not limited to, excessive itching or biting, skin ulcers, ear infections, weight loss, and a dull coat. When it comes to the topic of contamination due to bacteria and pathogens, your cat should be fine as long as the meat is cooked. As noted a bit earlier, we recommend that your pet never consume pork that is raw, as it can be quite dangerous, especially in large portions. If you would like more information concerning today's subject matter, please click the initial link in the description box below and join us at SeniorCatWellness.com. And once again, feel free to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel if this type of content is of interest to you. Thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you later.